today is an amazing, amazing day that you will not even believe. Today is looking at Greenwich before, then and now for the play that is coming on the 14th. All about the boys. It's about the World War One, And he has put together Robert. How will it choose to be? How green it choose to be before? So that is um, what's that? That is now. That is then. What's that? St. Luke's. I can see something there. St. Luke's Church in Charlton. Wow, that's how St. Luke's Church in Charlton used to look like then. And this is now. This is pure history, darling. Pure history. Okay, look at this one. This one is Charlton Village. Oh, Charlton Village now. That is Charlton Village now. Look at how Charlton Village was then. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, what is that? That one is. Uh, wow. Look. This is Greenwich then. Greenwich now. I wonder what that is. Well, one you can sort of see something over there. I wonder if anybody will know where this is. I think that's oh, the beginnings that. of the Corporate Estate. That's like that Dunbreck and Rochester Way. Wow, Eltham Park Station. But it's interesting to see Eltham all the trees Park over Station. there. Wow. That's roughly yeah. where Ooh, Greenville and Eltham Park Gardens would be. Mm. Uh, where was this? This one is interesting. Eltham High Street. Wow, look at Eltham High Street. Look. Before. Now. That's Eltham High Street. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Oh, we have so many people here today. Hmm. I have Ian here today again. Wow. How are you? There's plenty of food, free food, drinks, but you need a ticket. And I have a ticket that's changed. Hi. How are you? Are you enjoying yourself? Good Sana. Hey. Wow. 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 Look at this. What was this? That's Ford Square. Wow, the main gate to Woolwich Arsenal. Look at that. And look at now. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Who is this? Uh, and this is um, Howard Street. Oh, in Woolwich. Street. Look at it now. There. Wow. 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 All I can say is wow. Hello, how are you? I want to hug the mayor. I want to talk to the mayor. I don't know if the mayor's gonna talk to me. Wow, Nelson Street, Greenwich. Beautiful. That's then. Now. Wow. Oh no, look at this one. Greenwich Park Station. Look at Greenwich Park Station. Look at it now. Full of cars, packed. But all these people that came to learn the history of Greenwich. This is learning the history of Greenwich. Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Okay, today I'm so honored and privileged to meet the mayor of Greenwich. Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, sorry, what's your name? Good Mick Hayes. Oh, Mick Hayes. Hayes. Oh, Hayes. Okay. H-A-Y-E-S. Okay, thank you, sir. So when did you become a mayor? Is it this year or...? Uh, June of this year. Oh, I was deputy mayor for a year last year. Okay. Wow. 
Thank you very much for attending this event. That is, is uh, we really, really appreciate it. And we're very honored to have you here with us today. So today is just talking about Greenwich, how it was before and now. So I'm just looking at these pictures and it's, you cannot even recognize it. You cannot recognize how, like this one, for example, this is um, Progress Estate. Okay, this one a little bit looks the same. It, it, it's interesting. It's interesting looking at the photos, actually. Um, a number of them, obviously, it's a hundred years ago, so wow. they have changed beyond recognition. Yeah. But there are quite a few photos in here which are still recognisable. Okay. Um, it's at Elton Church, for example, yeah, uh, which is uh, the church that I attend. It's easy to see that it's the same place, um, the Progress Estate, that's fairly similar. Um, oh, I think they're going to start uh, calling me up in a minute, actually. Okay, so. okay thank yeah, you yeah, very I'll much. See you in a minute. Okay, thank you. started on the City Hall for the first of the uh, memorial services that will be attending over this weekend. And here I am tonight looking at photographs which show the borough a hundred years ago and now. And at a time when we're commemorating the outbreak of the First World War by a hundred years, seeing photos put flesh on the dates and gives us more of an idea of how life was a hundred years ago and helps us actually to celebrate, not celebrate, commemorate the hundred years of uh, since the outbreak of the First World War. So it really is a wonderful uh, exhibition. I must admit, two of my passions are old books and old photographs. So the old photographs, I'm I could look at them all day long. Um, so well done to everyone who's put this together. I, when you're men, you get sent the mayor's information sheet. First thing is, are you, are, is it necessary for you to make a speech? And the second thing is, if so, who should you refer to? And there were a number of people who was on the sheet that should be referred to and thanked tonight. And you'll forgive me if I've left anyone out. The Royal Greenwich Heritage uh, Trust, Charlton House, the Greenwich Heritage Centre, especially jo uh, Jonathan Partington and the search team, the Heritage Lottery Fund, 
uh, Bob Fanshaw for the photos that were over there, the graves at Oars, and Global Fusion Music and Arts who have put this together. There were a number of volunteers, Wendy Higgs, Simon Woods, Jade O'Neill and Francis Cumming, and I believe later actually we've got the Charlton Community Choir um, singing here tonight as well, so well done to all those. No matter how extensive the list is, there's always someone who gets missed out. I think it was Charlton Triangle Loans that you mentioned that I didn't have on my list. So well done to everyone. Enjoy uh, the rest of the evening. I certainly shall enjoy looking at these photos again and again. And it's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'm not sure if it's all the choir here. Where's Chris? Chris yeah. Harrison. I'm here. Oh, he's hiding. Are they all here? Chris? I think I think we've got enough to do. You've got enough to do something. Okay. Before they come on, I just want to say something about Global Fusion Music and Arts. We're a charity, we're an arts charity. We do a lot of good work in the community. Ben, the camera's moving, Ben. Ben, the camera's just moving, so sorry. Um Ben. Just need this on record. Um, we do a lot of really good work in the community. As we speak, there's a yoga, free yoga class happening in Mascom's meeting rooms. Tomorrow morning, between 12.30 and 1.30, there's self-defense for women. Every Tuesday, every alternate Tuesday, there's drumming and singing. And every Friday morning, yoga, Tai Chi. And every other Friday evening is uh, yoga and Tai Chi. And all these things are free plus a monthly writer's group. And apart from that, we do regular events in the old library, music, jazz, uh, poetry, and this coming Friday we have a play all about the boys written by Robert Fanshaw, who's a member of our GFMA writer's group. So we do a lot of good work, so if you're feel, feeling generous and aware, please give us loads of money. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to introduce Chris Harrison with his choir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think what we'll do, if you can just give us a couple of minutes to assemble, and then I'll say something about what we're going to do. So please talk amongst yourselves for a minute or two. And if, it, if the singers could uh, come up here, that would be lovely. <laughs> Wow, so what do you have today? What are we eating today? What are we eating today? Uh, you can eat this. Anything goes? I'll try some. I'll have some. Uh, look at all these people. Hmm. Now the choir is going to sing. Now we have to wait for the choir. They told us to give them a few minutes so they can organize themselves. And let's wait and see what they have for us. Yeah. 
Okay, um, thank you very much to Global Fusion for letting us sing here. This is the Charlton Central Residence Association Singing Group, and it's an interest group run under the auspices of Charlton Central Residence Association. We really sing for pleasure, but occasionally we do performances outside of our area. So we've come all the way from uh, Wellington Gardens to Charlton House. To, to sing tonight, and we have got three songs which we're going to sing, which, were, which are all on the theme of the First World War. Um, we're going to start with a very upbeat song, um, which uh, is, is about Woolwich Arsenal during the war, and then we'll gradually sort of move uh, to more serious, more reflective songs uh, by the end. So the first song that we're going to sing is called She Works in Woolwich Arsenal Now. And it dates from 1915, and it's a sort of propaganda song saying how uh, um, when there was a shortage of ammunition, women were drafted into the arsenal to make lots and lots of guns and things. And so this is a song based on that. Oh, 
So the next song is called Only Remember. It's, um, it's a song that was written a little bit before the war, but because of the words, it was used a lot in um, remembrance ceremonies and events after the war, and actually has been used since then, not only for uh, war commemorations, but for remembering people in all walks of life who, who died. Um, I should have said earlier also that there are some word sheets around. I put some up there and some on the table if anybody wants to follow the words, or even join in the chorus of this one, which is only remembered by what we have done. Mm -hmm. I guess you join me. I think I should. I don't mind if my voice is horrible. Fading away like the stars of the morning, losing their light in the glorious sun. Thus would we pass from the earth and its toiling, only remembered by what we I know. 
know, that's global vision for you. They're so organized. She's a mini fan. Thank you for my cake. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, my serviette, beautiful. Let me take my cake before someone takes it. So I'm going to put it somewhere. And uh, thank you very much. And I look for someone who wants to talk to me. Again, that's what I always do. Hmm. I am actually looking for someone who wants to talk to me. I don't get a lot of that. Do you want to talk to me today? Okay, why not? Okay, tell me, what do you think about the event here? I think it's amazing. Yeah? Um, you know, it's just so interesting to see photos of what it was like in World War One alongside what it is today. Yeah. I've lived in the local area for about 40 years. 40 years? Yeah. You've lived around here for 40 years? Yes. And so I'm very interested in the history of the area. And it's just amazing to see the similarities and the differences. You know, some photos of the landscape are completely different now to what it was before. Yeah. And in some of the photos, the, the landscape and the buildings are the same, but then the people and the um, transport is totally different. Yes. So, um, you know, I just think it's a fantastic exhibition. The wow. quality of the photos are really good. Wow. So you've always, like you've said you've been here for 40 years, you've lived in the same area for 40 years. That means yes. that you've seen the drastic change as everything changes. As yes. that, like, is that a surprise? Are you like, what, what's going on? Um, I think there's particularly a big change going on at the moment. Yeah. Because there seems to be a lot of new flats and uh, accommodation happening, shops yeah. being, um, being um, put up. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be, I'm a bit concerned that, you know, the infrastructure is going to be able to support it. Exactly. But, um, it's a lot of I'm going to take it, so they... All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there's a conversation here between the mayor. Let me just listen to this. Sorry, I was just dropping in your conversation. Very rude. <laughs> So how did you how do how do you feel about the event, Mayor? Well, obviously, I was impressed with both the exhibition. Yes. And um, I found the uh, the singing, particularly the last song, very moving. Yes. And um, as I said in my speech, it was a continuity of starting off this morning at the memorial service and remembering actually that we're commemorating the outbreak of the first world war hundred years mm. so it was a continuity well thank you very much and this is for the royal greenwich the royal borough of greenwich the, this is for the Royal Borough of Greenwich. Yes. Yeah, so what do you think about Royal Borough of Greenwich in general? The Royal Borough of Greenwich. What do I think about the Royal? It's a wonderful borough. Yes. It's, uh, it's a diverse borough, mm -hmm. rich in culture. Yes. It's that richness of diversity and that yes. richness of culture yes. which makes it such a vibrant place to live in. Exactly. And it's just wonderful. Exactly. Oh, thank you very much for, for your time. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Joan, I mean, I'm just going to tell you. I lived in Woolwich. I mean, first, when I, when I was in this country, when I went to school, I lived in Hampstead, I think, yes. Which school were you at? I went to Fox Hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, Junior yeah. school. <laughs> On the common, oh, we walked all the way up there. Because we lived just in Marcus Terrace, yeah, which was yeah. demolished to build a whole state. Wow. And there's a lot of change there, a lot of change there. When I look at the high street, I can read. Oh, yes. It's really ruined it. Yeah. Ever since this pedestrianisation came in, it just went in, it became a ghetto, didn't it? Not my at all. I don't think the image of Woolwich has been properly explored. No, I think it's in the melting pot at the moment. I think it's very interesting to see this on the Yeah, I think it is, absolutely. Arsenal. Good afternoon. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night, Mayor. Thank you. Where's your Arsenal station? Yes. I think it's amazing. I know, I know. And there was, did you see there was a Greenwich Park station? There used to be. Yes. So, do you remember that? But I tell you, whether we believe it was safer or not, it certainly was to my mind. 
These are ladies that have lived in Woolwich for like 40 years. They have the. <laughs> you know, when you were talking about the pictures, you say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Jill, I, I mean, this is amazing. This, this was well organized. There's plenty of food. And there were so many people, and yet all of them got food and drinks and cake. I actually had a chocolate cake. I asked for two, but they said no one. She's so mean. Anyway, um, how how did all this come along? How did were you funded? Because this yes. is so much organisation. I mean, we were so lucky because initially we had some funding from Charlton Triangle Homes, the local uh, association. Okay. And then um, we kept applying to uh, different. Did such nice food, you know, and we couldn't have, we couldn't have um, actually got volunteers to work and film the process and everything. It's down to the Heritage Lottery. Fans. Okay, so Heritage Lottery really yes. helps a lot. Yes. Okay, so all these pictures now, where are they going after this? Is he going to keep them in his house? In his... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked that because yes. um, the Heritage Centre um, have been very helpful as well. What about the frames? Did they supply the frames as well? The heritage, did they supply you with the frames or he bought the frames um, himself? No, I mean we we planted the funding from the heritage lottery. Yes, yes. We were able to buy okay. you know, the materials yes. to frame them to a high quality. Yes. And um, thanks to the funding we yes. were able to, Ian was able to train volunteers okay. to mount them and to help him with mm -hmm. the exhibition. Mm -hmm. so, and there's another whole branch to this project um, yes. where there's some uh, young unemployed people being trained to film the whole project. Wow. So, um, you know, it just and goes on and on. And it there's also a play um, going to be put on next week, mm -hmm. written by a local author, and that's been funded by the Arts Council. So we've got a massive project. Yes. We're going into schools. Yes. That's followed, uh, funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund and Charlton Triangle Homes. Wow. Um, we're going in and doing drama and uh, yeah. teaching um, songs from World War One to mm -hmm. the local mm -hmm. primary school children. Because it's very important for them yes. to know their history. Yeah, it yeah. is very important. It's very important. Wow, well, I'm very impressed. They're going to actually be doing a performance here mm. um, on Armistice Day. Yes, I saw it in your, in your events yes. calendar. Yes. I saw it in the events yes. calendar. Wow, I'm, no, honestly, I'll say this. I'm very impressed with what you guys are doing, Global Fusion Music and Art. I'm very, very impressed because every time I come to watch your events, they're always so organized. And I, I've realized as well that you use a lot of volunteers, which is very, very good, a lot of young people. We have amazing volunteers. Mm -hmm. And we've got young people, old people, yeah. people from all different backgrounds, cultures. Yes. And yes. that's what Global Fusion is about. Exactly. We believe in bringing Together. Yeah. And you know, then, then we learn about each other. And yes. Can only make things better for everybody. Exactly, exactly. Bringing people together. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow.